In case anyone missed it, this is the room we finished off in the last episode. Pretty creepy vibes, right? Yeah, this is, we're pretty limited with what we can do in the first three or four days, but we're off to a good start. Hey YouTube, welcome back to day four of the 30 day challenge where we are aiming to design a spooky island in time for Halloween. Here are the grand rules. We need to start and finish a new island in 30 IRL days. Time travel is allowed and we'll probably do lots today. And there is no DLC or Nintendo Switch Online. Plus we aim to do a bunch of Halloween builds and try to make the whole thing as Halloween-y and as spooky as possible. I hope you enjoy. Okay. We have a whole bunch of crafting materials here. We have harvested pretty much the whole island over the last couple of days. And I think we need to upgrade our pockets. Hey Tom, we just need to upgrade our pockets. We are desperately lacking the pocket space. We are going to blow a whole load of Nook Mars, but we will earn more. It's okay. Pocket organization guide 5,000 nook miles. We desperately need this. It's crazy to keep dropping materials and having to pick them up again. So this should help a little bit. I learned some tricks for organizing my belongings. I bet I can carry a bit more stuff now. About that workshop, while we're here, we need to talk about a bit of customizing, I think. Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Maury. Uh, I'd love to. I think we're gonna customize everything into black or white as well, because that's kind of a spooky theme. Done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. Okay, so all we really need to do for this in-game day is to... Oh, hey! <laughs> uh, Rio, hey, Mori! I'm going around Mori Ween saying hi to everyone. I have to get my brand out there, you know. Let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered. I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go. What did we get? A hose reel. <laughs> Oh yes, our pumpkins have grown. Okay, so we should be able to craft some pumpkin things. So let's harvest these first. Wow, we've got a lot, a lot of different colors actually. I think we've got all of them. Okay, I guess we can craft our first spooky items now. I made a spooky arch. We're gonna make a couple of arches, I think. There we go. <laughs> a spooky table, just for good measure. Definitely will come in handy. And I thought the leaf campfires would be really kind of cool because they're just, they're, they just have something about them that are quite spooky. They're going to give off some good vibes, I think. Okay, I was, I was going to customize them as well, but we need more white pumpkins. So I guess we should plant some white pumpkins as well. There we go. So we've just planted some white pumpkins. That they should ensure we get some more white pumpkins at least. I think it's time we introduce ourselves to Sandy. Now that Sandy has finally moved in. Hey Sandy, yay. We, we love having ostriches in this town, I think. Uh, Maury, I'm so glad we can meet on that island and that I'm all moved here now. I've still got lots of unpacking to do, but I'm really looking forward to spending time together here. Yay, we just needed to meet Sandy. Okay, we're going to check our mail. Then we're going to do our daily round super quickly before we travel to the next day because we need to start thinking about getting the Able Sisters to our island. We need to think about getting a three-star island, getting KK here, and just getting past that first week. So we're going to do that super quick. Ahoy there, Maury. I forgot about Gulliver. Thanks for your help, I'm back with my crew. They made a big show of sighing and rolling their eyes when I climbed aboard. What jokers! Anywho, here's a cool trinket from my travels. And we also have our wetsuit from uh, the Nook Stop as well, which is really cool. So we could do some deep sea diving. Okay, I think we need to do some tidying up. I'm just going to go ahead and put all this in our storage for now. Okay, we've done a lot of tidying up. And that's just because I know we're penalized, I think, for the island rating for having, uh, like, crafting materials and that everywhere. So we've just tidied that up for the time being. But we do have our spooky furniture, so we're going to go and drop these around somewhere. Probably near resident services for now, just until we can think of what to do with them. I think we can have a spooky arch here. Always pretty cool. There we go. Welcome to the spooky island. That's not very spooky yet. <laughs> Maybe we could make a bit of an entrance to our house as well for now. Um, these are not going to stay here. We're going to make like a lost woods and things like that. And there's going to be the entrances for those. But I do want to customize them at some point as well. We're going to place our leaf campfires here as well. They'll look really cool when we start designing paths and things like that as well. They're pretty cool. Oh no, two of our... <laughs> 
two of our trees have stunted. So we'll just grab our fossils really quickly. Plant a money tree. Shake some trees. Find the money rock, which is awesome. We could definitely use that. And hopefully find some pine cones, or at least one pine cone. Wait a minute, who is that? Crazy Red. Or Jolly Red even, hey! Well, well, you from around here. Hi, the name's Red. I work in sales. And you are? Maury. What a great name. Intelligent, strong. I can already tell we're going to be pals. No, not pals. Family. Maury, it's a pleasure to meet you, Maury. Want to look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus, you'd get my cousin's discount. You in? I'm in. Ah, oh, Maury, I'm so glad you made it. So here's the pitch. Ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, we sell only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Oh, wow. The, a creepy gnome. We definitely need this. A garden gnome. We're taking it. So it really doesn't matter what piece of art we buy because the first time you meet red now, thanks to the recent update, every single piece is real. So we're just going to go for... We're going to go for this one. Been pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. Okay. Now we can check our Nook Miles and see if we've got enough to get a Nook Miles ticket and invite another villager. Okay, we made it. I think we only need 2,000 Nook Miles. Let's drop our creepy garden gnomes and then we'll go on a quick villager hunt. We like things to be symmetrical. Doesn't everybody? Okay, Orville, give us some good luck. If we could have Lucky... That would be really awesome. All right, let's get you airborne. We've got a fruit island covered in pears. What is this? Okay, now we have to harvest all the pears. This is making me hungry. I've just realized we don't have an open plot because Al is moving in, which means there's no villager. We need. We haven't got an open plot, so we've just wasted 2,000 Nook Miles. Oh, no. At least we got some... Pears. <laughs> oh well, we'll get a new plot in a couple of days, I think. So let's just clear this island of resources so we don't waste the trip. There we go. We have cleared the island of resources. I can't believe I forgot Al was moving in. Awkward. Okay, this is... Do you know what? This is... I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at, like, creating entrances, but I kind of like this. Simple, but still... Definite creepy vibes. Okay, we're going to appraise these fossils. And I think everyone had the right idea in the comments. We're going to sell these fossils instead of donating them. Just to get the money so we can upgrade Nook. So we're going to go ahead and appraise these first. And then we can kind of move on to the next day, I think. Hey! Oh dear, pardon me! Why, hello, Maury! Welcome to the Maury Ween Museum. How might I be of service? Um... Assess fossils. I'm so glad we can do them all at once. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I've said. The museum awaits. The museum's gonna have to wait a little longer because we need bells. I want to sell, I want to sell a bunch of fossils, please, Timmy. We're also gonna sell uh, a load of pears that we're not going to use as well. I think we don't need, we, I think 10 is more than enough, isn't it? 57,500 bells, that's what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna buy these as well and sell them back to Timmy and Tommy just to get that bell threshold up even more. Because uh, we need to buy and spend. Okay, we're going to put our things in the storage for now. And then we're going to move on to the next day. Now then, I have one more bit of important news to wrap things up. It's so wonderful to see all of the enthusiasm for island life. Our population is certainly growing, hmm? Resident Services will soon relocate from its current tent into a more permanent building. Okay, we have mail from Red. Jolly red, there we go. We're gonna take that. It's a piece of artwork that's 100% genuine. And we've got a letter from Luna as well. I am certain many memories of your island are dear to you. Uh, what if you could share those memories in the form of a pleasant dream? You can, and it is as easy as falling asleep in your bed. And a present from Luna, thank you. So we should probably go and meet Al before we donate our art to the museum. Um, things are really taking shape now. Hey Al. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Al and I just moved here today all on my own. We will definitely come and say hello tomorrow. What a nice gorilla. Okay, we've got to do our usual daily routine. Dig up some fossils. Talk to our villagers. Sup, Conantel, where are you headed? Let's chat. This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with meals for as many as I can. We have to plant our money tree. And now we can talk to Blathis. 
Hey, Blathers, wakey, wakey, we have some artwork for you. Woo! Oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Maury. Oh, what is that? A jolly painting and the genuine article, no less. Might I help you with anything else? Not today. I think one genuine piece of art is enough. Yay, our first money tree. Is that our first money tree? I can't remember. There we go. Lots of bells. We'll take those. Leaf is here. Please tell me you have some vegetables or something. Hey, hey, and welcome. What should I call you, friend? Uh, Maury. <laughs> Yay, he's got wheat. So he's a few people have said about making a wheat field or like a wheat maze as well. Great idea. So I think we're going to do that as well. Uh, we can grow wheat and make like a maze or something like a spooky maze. That is a really good idea. Okay, so we need to plant a wheat field now just to get some. Oh, look at the villagers all getting along. Just so we can start growing some wheat. This looks like a good a place as any to do it. Just on the peninsula for now. We're going to move them later on. This is kind of a backup plan in case we don't find the wheat field item because uh, it's such a cool item but if in case we don't find it we've got we can use actual wheat as well hey sandy you could help out you know you're literally holding a watering can fine we'll do it ourselves mira hey uh didn't i just see you over there cottontail you don't have to twin do you uh, let's talk. I talked to my mum on the phone the other day. There's some bizarre rumours about me back home. Did you know I moved here to fight a giant sea monster? Neither did I. It's so weird. So we're on the grind again, harvesting the fruit so we can sell. We're just doing this really to not only get money, but pass that threshold for nooks. I think we need to spend something like quarter of a million bells to be eligible to upgrade nooks. So we're just going to harvest everything we've got at the moment. Uh, just to try and get that up a little bit. And we're just going to do some weeding and tidy up this area. Because we don't want it to affect our island rating. I think you can only have like a handful of weeds on your island. So we're just going to get rid of all these weeds. And then that is today done I guess. Um, and we'll have to travel to the next day. Let's see what the resident services is doing. There we go. The island is pretty much clean. At least the main levels of the land is all clean. So... I guess we can go on to the next day. There we go. Resident Services is under construction, but we do have Mabel. Yes, this is what we've needed. This meeting Mabel is one of the requirements for upgrading Nook's Cranny. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Nook. As I mentioned yesterday, Resident Services is closed today due to construction. This is a great point to get to on day four of the 30-day challenge because... Uh, we needed to upgrade the resident services and it is under construction. So other than doing our daily routines, talking with the villagers, um, we don't have much to do today other than continue to meet those milestones. And of course, Mabel is one of those. It's super exciting. Hi. Hi there. Oh, right. Didn't I see you at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. Now, no worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I got to build up a customer base first. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Yes, we can finally get some Halloween costumes. It's going to be perfect for us. We should probably put that on straight away. 1,500 bells for the raggedy outfit. Are you interested? Yes. There we go. We bought one of everything, but we're going to sell them all back to uh, Tim and Thomas, just in case we need to meet a certain spend threshold with Mabel. But we are going to put on the raggedy outfits. There we go. Looking a little bit more Halloween-like. Let's talk with Blathers. I don't know what the deal is with triggering Brewster. So we'll just check in with Blathers every day as well. Nope. At some point, Blathers is going to be standing there thinking. And that's when uh, we can trigger Brewster. Of course, what exactly are you offering? We're offering everything we just bought from um, Mabel that we don't need. Um, I'm thinking about keeping the linen dress because I feel like if we put that outside it might look like a bit of a floating dress like a ghost or something so we're going to keep that that might come in handy everything else can go uh, we'll keep our pineapple aloha t-shirt because that's what we arrived in um, yeah I think everything else can go thank you bye our weekly candy or a daily candy should i say i like this blue delicate blooms wall that looks like it could be nice for quite a dark kind of low lit room so we'll buy this one in case we uh, do some spooky rooms in our house and then of course we're just gonna buy everything else in here and sell back to them again just to bump up that spend threshold plus it gets everything um in our catalogs for when we uh, should we want to order them anyway should i say okay besides doing some more daily routines like harvesting our pumpkins i guess that's pretty much all we need to do for today um but we are making progress after or i guess after the next couple of days once we've got the resident services and an upgraded nook's 
cranny, we can really start pumping out these spooky furniture, maybe do some spooky builds. Of course, we need to unlock the terraforming as well. So we need KK to get here and things like that. Hopefully unlock Brewster just because we want to be able to chill in the roost. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know any ideas you have, spooky ideas. Uh, I want everyone to be a part of this as well. So feel free to comment your feedback, your ideas, anything you'd like to see while we continue with this series. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you, of course, to the patrons and channel members for making this happen. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.